Hey guys, it is General Heed here. How is everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we are back with another weapon comparison on which Halo game has the best of a certain weapon type. And for today's weapon, we'll be taking a look at which Halo game has the best assault rifle. And we'll be uh, comparing all the Halo games that do have an assault rifle, except for Halo 5 though, because as I mentioned in previous videos, we can't compare Halo 5 because there are no tools that exist yet that I can use to get all the uh, stats for Halo 5 weapons. So, unfortunately, without access to the uh, stats, to Halo 5 stuff, we cannot objectively compare Halo 5 as part of this comparison. So, we have to exclude it for this video. Maybe in the future we can take like a Halo 5. But anyways, let's get right into it. So, starting with Halo 1, or Halo CE, which you know has the very first assault rifle in the series, and probably one of the most iconic ones, probably just as iconic as the um, you know, it's right up there with the Halo CE Magnum. Um, but anyways, the Halo 1 Assault Rifle has a max range of 40 units, a velocity of 324 units per second, and a damage of 10 per bullet, and has a fire rate of 15. Fire rate's a new stat we'll be taking a look at for the comparison, because it'll help us make our final conclusion at the very end, as you'll see later on. So just keep these stats in mind, they're not bad, uh, but let's compare it to uh, other games now. So Halo 2 did not have a battle rifle, I mean did not have an assault rifle, it added a battle rifle instead of the assault rifle. And I think you know at one point in development it was supposed to have an assault rifle, but they took it out in favor of the battle rifle. So you know for quite a while we didn't have an assault rifle until Halo 3 when it came back. And you know it, it was pretty similar to the iconic Halo 1 assault rifle. However, the stats are quite a bit different. Its max range is still the same, 40 units, but its velocity is a lot lower, 80 instead of 324. Um, and it only, it only does a damage of 7.5, which is um, a little bit less than the Halo 1 assault rifle, and it has a lower fire rate of 10. So. What this means is, you know, overall it's it fires slower, it does a little bit less damage, and the bullets travel slower. Now, I know we talked about the whole hit scan thing before in previous uh, comparisons. All Halo weapons, um, not all weapons, but a lot of them are hit scan, but the velocity adds like a delay factor to the hit scan, uh, from what I understand at least. And what this means is that while the AR bullets still hit scan, the 80 makes them a lot slower, that you, so you have to lead your shots a little bit, so compared to uh, the Halo 1 Assault Rifle. Anyways, after Halo 3, the next Halo game to have an Assault Rifle was ODST. However, ODST's Assault Rifle is actually 100% identical to Halo 3's Assault Rifle. So for this comparison video, we're not really going to go in depth into the Halo 3 ODST Assault Rifle, we're just going to mark it as you know, we're just going to consider it a Halo 3 Assault Rifle, and we're not going to really go into stats with it. So anytime we talk about Halo 3 Assault Rifle, we're also talking about ODSTs. Now the next game that has a unique Assault Rifle would be Halo Reach. And this Assault Rifle also uh, is quite different from the previous, all the previous versions. Uh, you know, not just appearance, but also stats-wise, which uh, let's take a look at the stats right now. So it has a much higher max range, 100 instead of the 40 from Halo 1 and Halo 3. It has a whopping high velocity of 3,000 units per second. Halo 1 only had 324, and Halo 3 had even just 80. <laughs> However, the Halo Reach Assault Rifle only does 5, it's a really weird specific number, only 5.834 points of damage per shot, and has the same fire rate of 10 as Halo 3 does. So basically, the Halo Reach Assault Rifle, you can shoot it at a further distance with much higher accuracy because of the uh, really high velocity. The 3000 uh, velocity pretty much makes it like any other hit scan weapon, as in your bullets uh, travels instantly, almost near instantaneously, compared to Halo 3. You almost don't need to lead your shots in uh, Halo Reach at all with the AR. So, the next game to have the AR. And well, actually, the last game we'll be taking a look at because we can't look at Halo 5. Uh, the game is Halo 4. And once again, this this actually brings back a more classic-looking AR, uh, like the Halo 3 one. I know there's the whole art style thing, but the one you know piece of art style that Halo 4 kind of keeps classic is the AR, um, sort of. And as for the stats, this one, like Halo Reach, also has a max range of 100. Uh, 
uh, but its velocity is half that of Halo Reaches at 1500. Now, that being said, it's almost like an instantaneous shot anyways, so I don't think you'd notice a difference much, especially at like, closer ranges. So, the velocity here probably doesn't make too much of a difference between Halo Reach, but it's still significantly higher than Halo 3 and Halo 1. Its damage is back up to 7.5, just like Halo 3, but still a little less than uh, Halo 1's damage. And its fire rate is still 10. So pretty much all the Halo games, except for Halo 1, have the same fire rate. And damage is pretty close across all of them as well. It's just the range and velocity that vary wildly across each game. Uh, but yeah, so that is the Halo 4 Assault Rifle. So, with all that in mind, which Halo game has the best Assault Rifle? Well, you know, crunching all the numbers together and doing all these comparisons, uh, since we've added the fire rate statistic, we can actually determine which one does the most damage per second, which is ultimately what makes each Assault Rifle the strongest. And the answer is Halo 1 has the best Assault Rifle. So, Halo 1 Every second that you fire it, assuming every shot hits, Halo 1's Assault Rifle does 150 damage per second. Halo 3's only does 75 damage per second. Halo Reach's does 58.34 uh, points of damage per second. And Halo 4 is just like Halo 3's and that does 75 points of damage per second. So as you can see, Halo 1's Assault Rifle does twice as much damage as Halo 3 and 4's, making it the strongest and most powerful Assault Rifle. Not to mention, it has like the biggest clip um, of all of the assault rifles as well. So it is definitely the deadliest, and therefore the best. As for the worst, that's eh, hard to say. It's Halo Reaches does the least amount of damage, is the weakest, but you know it is a lot more accurate than Halo 3s, which is the least accurate. But anyways, those are uh, those are all the assault rifles compared, and as you saw, Halo. CE had the best assault rifle. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and um, you know if you guys did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like, and you know let me know in the comments what you wanted me to compare next. There's plenty of Halo weapons to compare across all the games, so do let me know, and I'll try to get more of these out as soon as I can. Um, or if there's anything else I need to take a look at, as always, you know let me know in the comments, and I'll do my best to look into it. But you know, as always, if you haven't subscribed to me already, make sure to do so, and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.